Hello everyone, welcome to BIM Model channel. So with me is Rajkumar and today uh, we're going to discuss an interesting topic uh, Revit tutorials on uh, understanding the basic Revit curtain wall and grid and mullions. While working with curtain walls, how do we control the panel, curtain panels? It will be the basics. We are not going to discuss any multiple complex uh, curtain panels or any other elements. So if you wanted to start with basic architectural tutorial, you can follow with the playlist what, what we have started. And this tutorial about all about the beginner who start with Revit architecture. And if you need an advanced tutorials on the same, so you can follow up with the BIM Modeler channels and you can subscribe to the BIM Modeler. You will be able to get the tutorials as whatever the requirements that you need. We also do uh, tutorials, upcoming tutorials as such like uh, it will be the basic on Dynamo and advanced level of Dynamo and we do share the script with you all. And following to that, we do Revit API tutorials and tutorials on IoT. How do we link the? And we are learning it, and we will coming up with those tutorials. So do subscribe and support the BIM Modeler channels. Thank you so much. From this, we start with our tutorials. Let's say that uh, we started the fresh versions of uh, project. Let's start with new. Let us take the architectural template and say OK. Once you are inside and you have to create the curtain walls, so we have discussed about it basically in the previous tutorials. And if you wanted to start about the wall, so there is a wall option in this place. You can start with the wall architectural. And in this options in the drop down, there are basically three types of wall in Revit basic wall. And going down, you will be able to see curtain wall and one more wall type. It is basic type. It is stacked wall. Today, we're going to discuss about a curtain wall, curtain wall families, which is related. And you may have to create the walls as, as per your requirement. Say this is the curtain wall that I am creating. What is available in architecture by default, I will show you. Let me open both the views side by side so that we can see it clearly. And I want to constrain it to the level 2. And let us take one rectangle shape over in this place. And it, if you see that the curtain wall 1, which is giving us only the glass. And let me make it as fine and realistic. And if we go and create the second one, and this will be having the settings which is for grid. So the curtain wall will be, will be splitted as per the settings which is available. And the third one settings is a full settings which is with the grid and mullions, not only the panels. And let me create it over in this place. And if you see that it has the setting that will have all the settings which is grid and mullions. So it is complete setup what we have in our family. Let's say that we have our curtain panel so if we are created from the beginning. So you can use this wall option as we mentioned. So you can draw it from here. The settings are available in this place and if you wanted to assign a million to your the plane elements it is easy that you have the option of cut and grid and cut in millions you can take the cut and grid and you will be able to have the option in the contextual tab in this place all segment you can come down nearby horizontal and vertical you can move on based on your cursor you will be able to get Curtain grid. The curtain grid is the holder for your mullion. So the curtain grid will split your 
cutting panel as you specify while you drag you will be able to see the dimension temporary dimensions that where you are splitting from the one edge to the other edge of your grid you can use your plan view also to cut the section like this and like this way horizontal or vertical let us say this way and after you are assigning the position you will be able to control as three feet and the next element you can click anywhere and say three feet this way you will be able to define it as per your requirement if it is a irregular space you have to use this method to define it on the other case if you need the mullions or if you say that you need a vertical grid you can assign it or if you need this particular cutting grid to be defined in this position you don't want it all the places one segment you can pick it and you will be able to define your segment properly similarly if you need a mullion you will be able to, to take this cut in wall mullion pick this option and similar settings are available only to the grid line grid line segment or all grid lines I prefer to have all grid lines it will be easy for us otherwise you can pick the grid line one by one or the segment by segment say one segment two segment you can go by like this or all grid lines at a time and if you tr try to select the other one we don't have grid lines in the mid so automatically it will fill with the ends like this the settings will be based on the settings which is available in our curtain wall family type property and if you see that the vertical gradients and horizontal grid settings are not defined so that is the reason we are not getting any automatic millions or grids so if you see the other wall that we created and if you check that you will find out the grid settings that are available vertical grid settings and horizontal grid settings are available but vertical mullions and horizontal mullions settings are not applied and if you check the third option cut and wall type which is available by default edit type and you can go down and you will be able to see both the settings like grid settings and mullion settings are available so the settings like the mullion thickness and and with everything will be defined based on the family settings available which can be discussed in the advanced tutorial if you need or you can go through in the family settings and you, you can you could find out similar you can take the mullions all grid lines you can select all the grid lines sometime it may ask us to delete the elements which is in referencing and you can simply give delete automatically it will delete the other element and you can fulfill it and if in case if you wanted to replace this mullion with the other mullion types what is available you can select this mullion the mullion type that you wanted to change and the handy tool is tab you can use the continuous tabbing and it will select your mullion properly and select it and you will be able to see the drop down it is a rectangle mullion you can change the v corner mullion so automatically it will ask us to delete the other side mullion and delete elements automatically it will fit in the space and if you are trying to change any other types in the size wise you will be able to select it go back and change it it is possible as simple it is sometime you may have the grid the mullions like this so we have to have the mullion this mullion end in the bottom of the other top mullion so you can use the simple toggle button on and off so automatically it's switch between the both the other side you will have the option of switching or you will be able to see the same options over in this place in the contextual tab 
So these are the basic settings available related to the Mullion that we are trying to create. The other settings that we create and if you see in the third one, if I select it and you see a pin button by default, but in, in our case, the element which we created, most of the time the people will struggle with this element. So why it is not moving or why it is it can't be deleted. So it, it is pinned. That is the reason it, you cannot move it. So if you go nearby that element, if you want to delete or move this element, you have to unpin this. You have to pin and unpin. You can see the same buttons over in this place. You can pin or unpin. Later that you can press the delete button and you will be able to see the clear through. And if you wanted to remove your grid the same applies or if you wanted to move it. So for example, say phi and you can't move it. So unpin it, change the value as five. You can move your grid line six and it moves with the other side also. And let's go and add or remove segments. I don't want this segment anymore. So you can select this one and automatically it removes this segment. Only the grid which are available in this place. Again, you can make this as five. In this fashion, so you will be able to control the grids and mullions as per your requirement. And if you need to see the family types, you can see it here. In some cases, you may have to select your buildings. And if you see that I will create a floor, which is a clean building, say wall and storefront. And it will be say 30 feet or 40 feet by 40 feet building. Yes. And we need a floor. You can simply take the floor and you will be able to select the wall of the all side and finish it. And you will be able to copy the element and paste it to the next level selected level which is 2 like this and you can still edit the element and you will be able to do offset say by 1 feet and you can select and delete the remaining element like this so you can attach the element to the bottom of the surface and it will delete the, delete the remaining mullions and it will create the new mullion to the curtain wall. So you have to have a door to your buildings. So you can have door in this place or wherever you require. So you have to select the panel and you can change the panel by unpinning it and you can change it. So we don't find a door. So you can't place the door, normal door to your curtain wall. So you have to have a curtain family door, which is curtain. It is made up of curtain panel. So we have to change the curtain panel to act as a door. So where is it? So you can you have to go and load the family first load family. And to the same door family folder you will be able to see the door types only these three will applicable to this door open it just do remember I'm loading this family insert and load family option not by any other options let us save this file and go back to the our training folder to this place curtain wall mullion grid one save
okay let's save that one more time and let us go back and try to load this family place this family by selecting by tabbing you will be able to see select unpin this panel and if you open the drop down you will be able to see the doors which we loaded and it automatically fits into our panel positions and you can zoom in and see it very clearly and you will be able to rotate or flip the door to the sides to the other side it's possible as by as usual by this simple you can press the space bar to flip the door that could be possible the other side if you have to have two doors and you will be able to select the grid and remove and like this you will be able to remove the grid and you have to select this panel by tabbing unpin it so that it will be visible so this is the frustration point you have to unpin it so many people will forget and they will think that it is hide the double door so you can pin it so it will come back to the old positions so i can control is that to go back and if you see it in plan view it will be a double door okay so from this you can understand what can be done sometime you may have to change this as filled panel so you can select and say select similar by right clicking select similar option or sa button so that it will select the similar element and you can control and you can change it or by one by one element you will be one after one after another you can select the element like this and going back to the next one unpin it after that you have a option to change the panel let me select curtain not the wall not the mullion only the panel and changing it to empty or filled space or to any wall type that we have say this one you can fill it like this this way you will be able to have the control that and the panel that you want to assign it may be a wood or it may be any filled panels that you can assign it to it will be very easy as it is even you will be able to create the complex families to the panel and you will be able to assign it in the later tutorials so if you are willing to do all those stuffs you will be able to do automatic options also by changing the random panel colors or random assigning any panel materials it can be possible by dynamo so we do have a tutorial on this you can follow our channels and you can find conceptual designing by curtain walls you can follow those tutorial and you can learn automatic color changing for curtain walls it is possible so we do going to create a adverse tutorial so that's it for tutorial today about curtain wall and uh, you can follow the next tutorial for the next sessions thank you so much